Hello everybody, I'm SGUSSS and welcome to today's LEGO mod video where I'll be teaching you how to modify the landing gear on the Mandalorian Razor Crest. Let's check it out. If you're new here to the channel, welcome to SGUSSS where we do all sorts of really fun things with LEGOs, Nerf guns, video games, and more. If you'd like to, please consider subscribing to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below and hitting that bell icon right next to it to be notified when we make new videos. So a lot of you guys who have stuck around on the channel for quite some time know that I've been doing a ton of modification videos here on the Mandalorian Razor Crest, and this one is probably by far one of the most anticipated modifications out of all of them that a lot of you guys have requested down in the comments section. So today is the day where I finally show you how to build this particular modification, which is personally probably my favorite. Not only does it look pretty good uh, on display and stuff, but it has a little bit of function too, where you can actually stow away the landing gear here for when you're flying. So I think it's pretty cool. I definitely recommend that you do this. And if you haven't seen any of my other modification videos, I highly recommend you go check them out. As always, with these tutorial videos, I will give you full step-by-step -step instructions as well as a parts list for everything that you'll need. All right, so first order of business, what I usually like to do with these modifications is just take absolutely everything unnecessary off, including the cockpit, the engines, and the sides. So first thing that you're going to want to do is just rip out all the flooring in this specific area right here. Then we're going to be taking out these bricks and just moving these by one. So you're gonna have this brick right here and then this clip brick right here, this gray brick right here, and then just move this one up right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a one by two uh, Technic brick right here with the little pin in the middle. And it should look something like this on both sides. Again, I'm gonna do it one more time. So I'm gonna take this brick right here Put it right here, move this over one, and then move this over one, move this over one, and then grab me another one of these pieces, just like that. Once you're done with that, you can put all of your flooring back in. By the way, if you haven't seen my video where I modified the flooring on the inside, go ahead and go check that out on the channel. Next thing that you want to do is completely remove all of the landing gear. I went ahead and removed the front one too, which isn't necessarily part of the mod, but it definitely makes it easier, especially if you're trying to work with a flat surface. These are all the pieces that you'll need to build the folding landing gear. Now I've seen people use these sand colored Technic pins in comparison to these ones, uh, just to match with the colors and stuff like that. The only problem with these is that they don't have enough tension to keep stuff locked in so it's not all like loose and stuff. So I don't recommend using these colored ones at all. All right, so first thing that we can do, we're gonna go ahead and get these ski pieces right here. Just put these slopes right here, just like that. Then get these little silver colored one by one circle pieces and just put them like that. Okay, so as you can see here, these are two completely different pieces. This one has kind of like a plus sign look to it. This one has kind of like a circle. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the plus sign. This is really important to remember. We're gonna take this black Technic pin right here. I prefer it to be black over red uh, just because it'll match the colors just a little bit better. It's not super noticeable, but it definitely um, is just a little bit of detail. Then we're gonna get to take this uh, blue Technic pin and then take this piece right here Put it just like that Then take our last blue Technic pin put it just like that and Then put it in a ski and that'll be one side And I'm gonna go ahead and make that again one more time and take this black Technic pin and put it right there Take the blue one put it right here Take this piece put it right there and take our last blue piece put it right there and we're just gonna go opposite of what we just did right there. And there you go, you have your landing gear. Okay, so now that we've actually built our landing gear, we can go ahead and install it. So we're just gonna put it like that. It'll stick in very nicely right there and hardly does it ever fall out, at least for me. And we're gonna go ahead and put it on the other side, just like so. 
And so when you want to kind of store the landing gear, if that makes sense, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the ski around and then turn it over on the back and it stores very nicely if you were flying the ship at all. Um, it puts a little bit of stress on the bricks, but not enough to actually, you know, break it or anything like that. And that's what it kind of looks like. It's, it's not exactly the right size so that it will sit uh, perfectly underneath, but it looks good nonetheless. So now that we actually built our landing gear, we're gonna go ahead and have to modify the sides. That way we can have this little flap here for extra detail. And so it can kind of fit in with the rest of it. So let's go ahead and build that. All right, so as you can see here, these are all the pieces that you will need to build one side of the Razor Crest. This right here already comes with the set. So just try your best to carefully remove it and just set it off to the side for now. We're gonna go ahead and build the other side um, here in a little bit. So yeah, if you need to go ahead and pause the video now just to get all the pieces that you need. All right, so if you can go ahead and try to follow along as best as you can here. All right, so these are all the pieces that you'll need to build the other side. Once again, you're gonna to wanna to keep this part, so try your best to remove it carefully. It already comes with the Razor Crest. Again, if you need to pause the video to get the pieces, go ahead and do so now. All right, so let's begin building again. We're gonna go ahead and take this one by two with the stud in the middle and kind of just repeat the same steps that we took last time, except it's kind of gonna be backwards. Just like that. So one thing I forgot to mention is this is like one whole solid piece. These are two pieces. Just do whatever works best for you. I apparently didn't have enough pieces. Uh, so one thing I forgot to mention, as you can see here, this is one solid piece. These are two pieces. And basically they both fill in the same amount of space. So just work with whatever you've got here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our one by six piece right here, and then our other one by six piece right here, and then we're gonna go ahead and continue building this part. 
right here. Let's see. Just like this. And then grab our two by four, put it right there. Put that just like that. And it should look something like this so far. Last thing, of course, that we need to do is go ahead and put this on right there. And now at this point in time, we should have both sides. So now that we have both sides, as you can see here, basically how you want to operate this thing. Uh, if you're wanting to move the landing gear around, you're gonna wanna lift up this flap. I'll go ahead and bring this over. And we're just gonna stick this right here. And it looks like we need to bend that just over one. And then this will stay down when you're landing. And then you can flip this up, flip the ski around, store it underneath, flip it back down for when you are flying. And then, you know, just undo it like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Just gonna go ahead and put this on. So and it should look something like that. Of course, last thing that you need to do is just put everything back where it belongs. And my oh my, does it look good with its landing gear now? Definitely a whole lot more accurate to the TV show. And overall, it just adds a little bit more pizzazz to the build. Well, that's gonna be it for today, folks. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like down below. And if you'd like to, please consider leaving a comment down below of your own thoughts and opinions on this modification. That's gonna be it for today, folks. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.